Have you ever been browsing the web, just minding your own business? And all of a sudden, a message pops up, several windows moving back and forth that say your computer's been infected or your computer's been locked or we detected illegal activity. Click here or call this number to resolve the issue. It looks like it's Microsoft. Maybe you even were tricked into clicking on a link that launches this type of activity. I'm Brian Longworth, host of a Faster PC Live Technical Support. Coming up, I'm going to demo and actually show you one of these screens and what it does because we had a customer recently that had it, this infection. I recorded this um, as I, and it, by the way, it's not an infection. It just says that there's an infection, but we'll show you, um, you'll, we'll show you a live example of this as well as in addition to showing you that example, we'll give you concrete steps that you can take to help protect your computer and steps that you can take if you have this this type of information or this type of event happen to you on your system. Well, last week we also had a customer that was, um, sometimes this happens, but when customers are just browsing the web, maybe they're just checking things out. They're just looking at what's going on and and they're actually, actually kind of, you know, um, just going to a website, we've seen it happen. Uh, we've seen this happen even, and we're going to demonstrate this in just a minute. A screen that comes up that says your computer's infected, or your computer's unlocked, or we detected illegal activity. Call this number. There's multiple places that says that uh, prompting to call the number. You're going to actually, we're going to actually show you this because we had a customer that was actually. Um, going on to they were on Facebook and and again sometimes this happens just when you go to a malicious site or a site that's been infected or a site that has ads where one of the ads uh, one of the images from one of the ads has been infected and it launches a malicious code uh, but this this particular customer was tricked through what's called clickbait and you probably have seen clickbait. It's on various websites um, and also, you know, all the major websites use it. Uh, YouTube, uh, you'll see YouTube videos that use it. it. It's an enticing headline trying to get you to click. And one of the things, you know, I've seen some of these where you click and and it takes you to a slideshow and the slideshow has like 50 pictures and inter intermingled in the pictures are actually ads. And of course, what they're trying to do is to get to entice you to click so that you can see the ads. And that's just a huge waste of time because most of the pictures have nothing to do with what the headline is you might have one or two pictures at the end and it's nowhere near what what was described in the headline but um, some of them are more some clickbait is more more fishy than that and what happens we actually had this one customer and she was going to Facebook and and she saw a, an ad or a message that said something about Look who died. You'll never guess who died uh, just now or or, you know, died yesterday or today or something like that. And she was intrigued. She wanted to know who died and she clicked on the link. And what I'm about to show you is what happened after she clicked on the link. This was a malicious link. So some of those links, again, are just wasters of time and some of them are actually um, you know, some of them are actually uh, trying to trick you into going to a website so that they can hopefully trick you into calling a number and trick you into thinking that your computer really is infected. So I'm switching over to a full screen. I'll verbally describe this for those that are listening on the radio. But I actually recorded uh, this video from her screen. And so so this screen, what what we'll do here is you'll actually see some of the some of the content of it. So this this has Microsoft and it has a Windows flag to the left of Microsoft. 
and you also see support you see Microsoft 365 you see all Microsoft kind of looks like looks like the account login uh, you see a, an avatar which is you know just a generic picture of a person that kind of makes it look like you might actually be logged into my Microsoft page some of these pages in fact the one that I that we showed you maybe I don't know a month or two months ago um, actually actually had and we rolled that out by the way to us to a separate video as well that's available on our Facebook page and YouTube channel but some of these actually launch from a an official Microsoft page because you can actually um, as as a consumer or as a business you can go to Microsoft you can contract for services for web services and they will actually give you a Microsoft URL that really is not designed for you to use it's just a temporary URL until you port your own you know my company name dot com over to that but but in the meantime um, you can use that temporary URL where hackers are getting that temporary URL which actually includes a an official Microsoft domain name in it so this particular website we actually don't see the domain name but multiple times on this page you actually see Microsoft you see Windows you see Microsoft 365 you see Security Center you see uh, Microsoft Windows support you see a phone number to call there are multiple places with this and I'm gonna start the video and what you'll see you'll see the page actually actually moves and the the windows actually move and they're actually saying that a threat was detected they're saying that your computer is infected with a Trojan S locker a dangerous ransomware that will lock your device viruses must be removed immediately and you see please contact us immediately a technical tech, uh, technician will help you solve the problem you see what looks like files going from one location to another and uh, that's saying that your data is going to be encrypted you see the IP address of the computer and and you see what what you know this ISP uh, which you know is not really a, an official ISP but you also see um, you know access has been blocked contact Microsoft Windows support and again the phone number Microsoft Windows Microsoft support you see the the various pages scrolling in and out this this blue uh, there's a blue background or blue uh, window that's that's uh, zooming in and out behind that looks like the Microsoft um, security um, when you are actually trying to install a program that Microsoft isn't sure about they'll actually ask you how do, you know whether you want to allow this or not and it looks like that's actually that that's what the window actually looks like and it says a critical error has occurred uh, um, due to outdated um, version of the browser update your browser as soon as possible and so you know if you were to call this number what's going to happen if you call this number they are going to try to trick you into thinking that they are Microsoft and you because it says Microsoft you might actually be and by the way at the bottom of this it also says Microsoft so they are trying to trick you into thinking that this is Microsoft and and they are trying to to actually uh, you know show you or or, or um, they're going to try to make you think that they that this is actually you're actually speaking with Microsoft well if you were speaking with Microsoft then it would actually be something that that would would you know you would trust them you could trust them you know not everyone trusts Microsoft but 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 you you know they they wouldn't scare you wrong on your computer being infected and and they would they would try to get you to let them into your computer once you let them into your computer if you call the number and you let them into your computer the first thing they're going to do is they're going to capture your usernames and your passwords and they're going to have those from that point on and what that means is that any if you have saved usernames and passwords in your browser they're going to have those they're going to have access to all of that information 
and you're going they're going to be able to actually with and this can happen by the way in seconds and so what that means is that they're going to be using that information to go to your email account, to hijack your email account, to start sending your friends emails saying they're coming from you, uh, saying that you're in trouble, that you need help, uh, that that you need them to send you a gift card or something like this. Um, of course, that won't go to you. It'll go to the hackers or the scammers. Um, and and they're they're going to send um, you know they're going to go to your Facebook page and they might send your friends those those same type of messages or messages like hey you will never guess who died and your friends would click and they you know they would would actually have this malicious script launch on their computer as well so so uh, you know they're also going to try to get you to sign up for their service. And when you sign up for their service, that's going to uh, require you paying them money. And they're going to try to get you to do that in a way that, that you can't get the money back. Um, if you're very gullible, and we've had customers, by the way, even smart customers. We had one customer just recently. I talked about this a few weeks ago. One customer that actually was a former computer science teacher. Very knowledgeable on computers. But... Uh, she they tricked her into letting um, letting them into the computer and she was actually on her bank account on her phone and she saw them transfer twenty one thousand dollars from her savings account to her checking account now let me tell you that money was about to leave her account and this was this was all while they were on her computer she couldn't see them doing this but she could see them she could see this happening because she was logging into her phone so on another computer or another screen they were actually uh, trying to steal twenty one thousand dollars and she was very close to losing twenty one thousand dollars we've had customers that have lost twenty thousand that have lost forty thousand from this so uh, here's what you do though first of all realize that this is a scam this is a this is not a real message it doesn't mean that your computer is infected um, you do not want to call the number you never want to call the number if you ever call Microsoft or any big company and you get them right away, you're not talking to Microsoft. They don't want to talk to you. We can't even call them up and talk to them and we resell their products. We have to go through a process. It takes you know hours to get them to call us back. We can't just pick up the phone and call them and talk to them. So, you know, you're not talking to Microsoft. Secondly, um, you don't want to, uh, you know, you, you don't want to call the number. You want to actually call someone that's trusted, someone that you know. Call a faster PC, 772-878-5978. This what this customer did. If we've worked on your computer in the past, we have remote support software. We can log in. We can we can close this message out. We can scan your computer and make sure it's not infected. We can also come to your location or you could bring the computer to us, which is what this particular customer did. And we were able to solve her computer problems. We were able to get rid of this and make sure that her computer was safe. We have protection for you on this. I hope you've liked this video, that you've learned something from it. If you have, please click the like button click subscribe, click the bell to be notified when we release new videos. And remember, when you have cybersecurity problems, you need a faster PC.